Hey guys, guess what? We are now playing Pokemon Unite. Got it, I downloaded it, I'm really looking forward to it, I just opened it up. And this looks like an opening animation. So... What the... Did... I've never seen a reverse evolution like that before. Interesting. Dude, this Ambicom is like the face of terror. It's just a massacre. Dang. Oh, dang. Come on, Lucario, back up your buddy. Nice. Go avenge him, Pikachu. See, I have no idea if this was a trailer or something because I didn't see any trailers as to not spoil myself with this game, so... Okay, I find that incredibly... Oh! Come on! For the second minute save there! Last minute save, Pikachu! You can do it! Wow, what a cliffhanger. Oh, it's uh it's updating. Okay. Okay, uh sure. Just uh, give it a second, guys. Um Any moment now. English. Choose your country or region of residence. Well, I don't know. I think it's North America. United States. Yes. Before, please review the terms. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to make a little cut in the video when I've you know, read this and whatnot. We can continue. And that is done. Now, let's continue on to what we're here for. Requires age information for... From users and Nintendo accounts, I'm gonna use for a game. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and we can begin. At least I think we can. There we go. Trainer name. Do not use your real name or anything that may reveal your identity. Um. Hmm. Well then, should I use my YouTube? Should I just use the YouTube channel name or something more clever? Uh, hmm. Well, would my YouTube channel even fit in the title? Let me see. Oh, what do you know? It does fit. Okay. Hmm. But do I want to go with this or something else? Let's see. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with my YouTube channel. I'm liking this uh, music in the background, though. Okay, so... 
so this is the trailer customization for the game. All right. Uh, okay, I can. I see. I see. Uh, hmm. I'm going to tell you guys what I am going to go through all the options for both male and female and see which ones I like better. And then I will cut to what I've made my character. Whatever that character is, whether it's, uh, I don't know, whether I base it off Pokemon anime, uh, another game, or just decide to say, yeah, I'll just make my own original character. Because I hardly ever make a character based on myself. Because I figured... What's the point of making a character if you can't make stuff what you want? Anyway, I'll see you guys in just a sec when I have uh, made it. Alright, and I'm back. Uh, I went through both options for male and female, and I have to say the male's uh, side was very good. I would have gone with the male character if not for one thing. The female character had these eyes. I don't, I don't know why. It is, but I really love the character design for these eyes and the spikes. Oh, it looks awesome. Plus, with the red hair and this haircut, man, she just screams athletic track girl, and I, I, I have a soft spot for that character trope. So that's what we're going with. Especially this purple outfit, that just screams track and field girl from any anime. Ah. Like I said, I have a soft spot for that character trope, so... Uh, as for her name, I have no idea at this point in time. I'll come up with a name at a later time. But for now, let's just get into the game. Registration complete. Trainer name, The Gaming You, my channel. Trainer ID is 821Q8AN. I'm never going to be able to remember that. Professor Froros. Nice uh, hairstyle and helmet. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Aos Island. I, my name is Froros. I am probably butchered that. I am the head of the Aos Research Institute. Well, no duh. I could, you're, you're a professor in your name, so obviously you're going to be the head researcher of something. I perform research on the mysterious energy known as Aeos Energy, which is which pervades Aeos Island. You're new to you're new here to the island, aren't you? And you have the look of a Pokemon trainer about you. Well, I do, don't I? I suppose you came after hearing rumors of our Unite battles. Yes, yes, I did. Unite battles are Pokemon battles that make use of Aeos Energy. But you'll have to learn the rules before you participate in the Unite Battles yourself. But what if we already know the rules? What then? I'll have one of our researchers, Irby, take care of explaining the rules to you. Oh, I like this guy. I like his hair. And his headphones are awesome. Leave it to me, Professor Forrest. Forrest, I... I, man, am I pronouncing that right? I just don't know if I am or not. Man. Nice to meet you, trainer. If an explanation of Unite Battles is what you need, then I'm your man. Oh, man, I'm, I'm gonna like this guy. I already like this guy. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and have a little practice with the Research Institute's Pikachu. Okay, this art is awesome. <laughs> I love this is awesome. The uh, electric uh, yeah. the uh, the electric no, that's not the electric or electrode. No, that's not either. But the metagross in the uh, background carrying that thing is awesome. Ooh, it, the game looks pretty. I'll give it that. Here we are. This is the practice area. This is the perfect place to learn the basics of Unite Battles. Unite Battles are battles in which Pokemon form teams to face off against each other. The winner of these battles is decided by the final score of both teams when time runs out. Let's start by practicing moving around here in the practice area. Okay. Cool. Keep moving forward. Oh hey! Ambipalm! How you doing? Ah, 
Okay, so I just hold down the A button, and that'll be my basic attack, and it's an auto attack. Okay, if it's also in the circle, I'll auto attack them. All right. Collecting Aos energy in your Unite Ball and scoring a goal with that energy in one of the opposing team's goal zones will net you points for your team. Victory goes to the team that scores the most points in its opponent's goal zones before time runs out. I see you've collected some Aos energy in your Unite Ball. Try scoring a goal. Time to score our first goal. Bang. Goal! You, I love this guy. I love this. D d d hold on. Ah. Three claps for you, guy. Three claps for you, Irby. I'm gonna... You're gonna... If you continue with this attitude, you're gonna be my favorite character of this game. Minus my own ace. Uh, Ryan, minus my own CAC. That's the spirit. Keep collecting AOC energy to increase your score. Oh, so we need to score 30 points. Defeat wild enemy to collect AOC energy. Oh, so I can use my moves with ZR or R. Oh, okay, so it's just on one side. Okay, so Electro Ball. Okay, so that's a Vault Tackle. Electro Ball. And no all attacks. Oh, I see, so I can manually aim, too. Alright, we got 14 scores so far. Oh. Kiss? Okay, uh, this, uh, this is the only area for the practice area. Okay. Pikachu level up. Time to learn a new move. C press CL to learn your Unite move. Once your Unite move gauge charges to 100%, you can unleash your super strong Unite move. Oh hey, oh, hey War Turtle. Looks like the opposing War Turtle is defending the goal zone. You'll have to defeat that War Turtle. No problem. When you knock out a Pokemon from the opposing team, it may drop some of the Aeos energy it was carrying. Be sure to pick it up if you see it. On the other hand, this means that your opponents may also pick up your hard-earned Aeos energy if they knock you out. Keep this in mind when battling against the enemy team. Oh, nice dunk, Pikachu. Nicely done. Alright, next let's head over to the stadium to practice a team battle. Congratulations, you've completed the first tutorial. Ch All right, let's try a five on five Unite battle with some other trainers. Your Pokemon will be Charizard. Oh no, Wigglytuff. She's gonna slap everybody.
This is Murr Stadium. It's one of the actual venues for Unite Battles. The area shown in purple is your team area, and the orange is your opponent's area. The map is split into two paths, one on top and one on bottom. Both teams' goal zones are located on these paths. Successfully depositing AO synergy in the opposing goal zone will earn points for your team. This is one of the opposing team's goal zones. You can score goals in these, in these with the AO synergy you collect. If multiple teammates gather in a single go zone, goals can be scored faster. This is your team's goal zone. You can recover health in these, er in these making them very useful when you're in a pinch. Alright, let's go ahead and try out a team battle. Don't worry, I'll be here to give you advice when you need it. So just go out and have fun. The team that scores the most points before time runs out wins. Give it your best shot. Charizard starts the battle as a level 1 Charmander, then it levels up as the battle progresses and gradually evolves. Once the battle begins, you will first want to defeat wild Pokemon to collect Aeos energy. Ready, go! Let's do this. I recommend the bottom path. Okay, come on now. I already know. My elf is a... Okay. Oh crap, she's slapping everybody. Ah, I dropped some AOS and she has collected it. Ah, dang. Four seconds to revive. There we go, and we evolved. Charmeleon. Are you enjoying this Unite battle? I see your Pokemon has evolved into Charmeleon. You gain XP points by defeating wild Pokemon or knocking out Pokemon from the opposing team. As Pokemon level up, they may evolve mid-battle as yours just did. Go out and earn more XP points to evolve again. It looks like your Pokemon has grown and can learn a new move. Go ahead and choose a move. Let's go with... Flamethrower. Looks like your Pokemon can learn a new move. Choose a move to teach your Pokemon. Okay, let's do Flare Blitz. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that. Ow, 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 ow.
Dang it. Ah, oh boy. Zapdos appeared in the central area. If he makes it easier for you to score up, watch out, Zapdos is... Okay, battle it with your teammates, okay. Good gravy. Ever these guys are at the bottom and I can't seem to do anything. Ah oh, no no no, you get back here. You get the crap back here. Time's up. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have a lot to learn from that one. Trainer level up? Huh? Items items to be able to get a unite license. And I get coins. Interesting. Okay, alright. All right, let's uh, go back to the main menu and see what else we can do. Oh, Herbie. How was it? Did you get a feel for how Unite battles work? Yes. You can practice like this whenever you like. If you feel the need to train a bit, check out practice on the main menu. To commemorate your first Unite battle, I'm going to give you a Pokemon Unite license as a present. Choose any one Unite license you'd like. Wait. Oh, so I can start off with, uh... Let's go with Pikachu, because Pikachu's awesome. Okay, so I don't have... So, Unite license is how you unlock characters. I see that your trainer level increased after your last battle. You can get commemor commemorative gifts from the Unite Battle Committee whenever your trainer level increases. Here you can check your trainer level and the commemorative gifts for reaching each level. You got a new Unite license. Having a Pokemon's Unite license will allow you to take it into Unite Battles with you. So I received Slowbro. Okay, cool. So at level 3 I get 950 coins, I get an item. Venusaur level 5. Uh, what's the max level? 40 it looks like. For now, it looks like 40 is the next level, and I don't get another Unite license, so, okay. Oh, 14 day welcome gifts. Uh, yeah, I'll claim day one. So I can participate in a battle with Unite Battle. We've got Pokemon. So my available Pokemon to play right now is Pikachu, Slowbro, Machamp, Garchomp, ooh, nice, Crustal, and Cinderace. Hollowware, the fudge is this? Uh, 
Oh, so this is just like outfits. Okay, interesting. So, tend to be a special event. Oh, it's this X. Oh, so we have practice, battle prep, item box, rankings, friends, mail, and closet. Let's see what closet is. Okay, this is just. Okay, we got t shirts and a short skirt. See. And nah, 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 nah. I like that better. And we got mail. System messages. Welcome to Aos Islands. All right. Launch bonus. Lot. Thank you for playing Unite. Please accept this zero aura. Yay! We got zero aura. There he is. Okay, no costumes for Zero Aura yet. That looks cool. And shops, because of course this game has a shop. Welcome, you can check out the Unite Battle Committee, Aos Emporium, and Zerko Trading, and do a little shopping. In Aos Emporium, you, get all, you can get all sorts of items, including fashion items. Cool. So, Emporium is the uh, cosmetic shop. And Zerko Trading, well, let's just say you can get some real unique items there. You'll have to check it out for yourself. First, let's head to the Unite Battle Committee. This is where we can get licenses. You can obtain Unite licenses here by exchanging AOs, coins, and gems. Okay, so 6,000 AOs coins or 345, or 345 gems. Okay, I, AOS coins looks like we get by doing battles. I have no idea how to get these gems. 460, 460. Okay, I really want these two, so I need to save up 16,000 coins. Okay. And it seems like these are the featured licenses or something. Aos Emporium. Cramorant set, Snorlax set, Sporty Backpack. Let's enter this. So, fashion. We got that. Uh, what the heck is this? Discount ends in 6 days and 10 hours. Talon Flame set. Well, that does look cool. Not sure it's going to work on my trainer. The heck are these ticket looking things? Okay, so items. Okay, so this is where you buy our items. I see. Seven day coin boost card multiplies the number of coins earned by two okay so double coins for seven days three day battle point boost card for three days doubles the amount of battle points earned after competing battles okay so these are just boosters to earn double xp double points and stuff like that used to upgrade held items oh so that's what that is interesting Exchange fashion ticket. Huh. Interesting wig there. And now for Zerko training. Oh, so this is where we can get the, uh, the uh, costumes for the different Pokemon so far. We got Mr. Mime, Garchomp. Is that a... I don't know what that is. Exchange, Hollow Air Ticket Exchange. 
So you can get that. Interesting. So that's for the Pokemon costumes. So this is Pokemon, a uh, trainer customization, Pokemon costumes, and Pokemon. Got it. Got it. Events. Daily missions. Log into the game. We got that. Participate in one battle every day. Participate in three battles every day. Win a battle. Win two battles. One quick battle. And. Okay. Interesting. Resets in nine hours and 59 minutes. So about 10 hours. So it looks like it resets. At. Let's see if it's 10 o'clock now. Then 10 hours from now would be about 8 o'clock p.m. is when it resets. Okay. 14 day welcome. Yes. Oh, so day two we get. Uh, Nine tails. We get a costume on day four. Okay, cool, cool. Cinderace on day eight. And Greninja on day fourteen. Nice. Okay. Research Institute missions. Attain five licenses. So okay. Six standard. But okay, so these are just challenges you can do for rewards. Oh, claim that. Okay. Well, now. Alright, we've got a good understanding of how things work. We've completed the training. We've gone over the shops. See what goodies there are. The trainer customization. And, uh, we simply, uh... So one of the ones that I want can simply be obtained by uh, waiting till tomorrow. So cool, I don't need to, that uh, saves me 8,000 coins. So now I shall, I shall, end, I shall end this here for now and we'll pick things back up with our first Unite Online Battle. So I shall see everybody then. I hope you're all enjoying Pokemon Unite on its launch day. I know I am and I cannot wait for more. I cannot wait to upload another video, so stay tuned for the next one.